My partner and I, it was a Sunday, I remember. My partner and I were already in the homicide office conducting follow-up on an unrelated uh, case when we heard the radio broadcast over the Northeast Channel uh, reference the shooting of two police officers at a restaurant and the subsequent officer-involved shooting at a Walmart uh, near the restaurant. Uh, my partner and I learned that uh, two officers, officers Beck and Soldo, had been shot at the CC's Pizza while they were eating lunch. And the suspects in that incident had walked to the Walmart store at 201 North Nellis. Once in the store, uh, they shot and killed a civilian who was later identified as Joseph Wilcox. And then from there, a subsequent officer-involved shooting occurred between uh, the Millers and the responding police officers, and that uh, Amanda Miller had shot herself and Jared Miller was shot and killed. That would be uh, the Millers there, and uh, right around the first time that we get a, get a chance to see them on video. We'll see uh, them walk southeast from the CC's Pizza crime scene via a camera affixed to the rear of the Walmart store, which faced kind of in a northeast direction. Uh, we'll see Jared still walking ahead of Amanda, and then they'll come around that northeast corner of the store where they proceeded to walk southbound along the store all the way to the entrance. The two will uh, enter the store in the same order. Jared Miller goes in first. Jared comes in. He initially starts yelling loudly about a revolution which has started. Uh, it's at about this point here that uh, Jared Miller fires a warning shot into the ceiling. This draws uh, Mr. Wilcox's attention, and he remains focused on Jared as Jared continues to go further into the store. Uh, I believe the separation between Amanda and Jared has caused Joseph Wilcox to not believe that Amanda Miller is with Jared uh, and she goes unnoticed by him. She quickly turns and fires one shot from her Smith & Wesson 9mm handgun and the gunshot is immediately incapacitating and uh, Mr. Wilcox goes down in the aisle. At this point in the store, just to give you a little context, um, They've only been in the Walmart at this point approximately 30 seconds, and officers are just now beginning to arrive at the CC's Pizza crime scene. This location here, this had the glass ammunition cabinet, in it, which was had the ammunition stored for the Walmart store. And then he obtains a baseball bat from a nearby aisle, which he uses to break the glass on the ammunition cabinet. Jared Miller sorts through the ammunition, and then when he finds the appropriate ammunition, he takes that ammunition. When Officer Brosnahan gets approximately four rows down, uh, Amanda Miller, still armed with her Smith & Wesson handgun, uh, raises it toward Officer Brosnahan, and the two exchange gunfire. Uh, Jared Miller rounds the corner, drops his duffel bag, and then he also begins to engage Officer Brosnahan with gunfire. And at some point in that exchange of fire, was Amanda Miller hit? Yes, uh, Amanda Miller received a gunshot wound to the upper right back. Uh, Sergeant McKenzie requests uh, the next arriving units or any arriving units uh, to take over the video surveillance room at the Walmart uh, so that they can locate the suspects on camera and that they can find out what they're doing in the northwest corner of the store. When the cameras switched over and the officers in the surveillance room were able to update the containment team officers, the first uh, images were able to see in that far northwest aisle uh, depict Amanda Miller. Uh, she's lying down in a semi-prone position. She's armed with a handgun still, and she has that handgun trained directly south toward Officer Corbin and Officer Bethard. Jared is lying in a semi-prone position, and then he ultimately gets up from his position and walks south toward that backpack. There's a backpack, sorry, that was further south of Amanda's location. Uh, when he gets up to walk, it's clear that he's changed clothes since uh, his encounter with Officer Brosnahan. He's now wearing uh, a black tactical vest, which has a rifle scabbard attached to the back. Uh, and on the ground adjacent to his position, uh, you can see a pump shotgun. Uh, Jared Miller grabs that backpack and then removes back to Amanda. He takes out a bottle of water for her and he gives her some water before returning to his shooting position at the end of the aisle uh, where he uh, gets in the prone position and then aims his gun uh, east toward Officer Gross and Officer Beal. Uh, Jared Miller gets up from his position and he, he gets up and he pulls that shopping cart out of the way and to the far northwest corner of the store. Uh, at that point he attempts to get an item 
uh, off of the shelf. He keeps his right arm extended and the handgun pointed toward Officer Gross and Officer Beal's position. Uh, however, he's focused on getting the item off the shelf on the north wall. Jared Miller uh, notices Officer Beal and quickly fires one shot toward Officer Beal. Officer Beal quickly fires one shot uh, back toward Jared Miller and then Officer Beal returns to his position of cover uh, so fast that he's not able to see uh, where his shot landed. And at this point is the first time they appear to have any communication with one another. Uh, she manipulates her handgun several times to point toward Jared, then back toward herself. And then she appears to be uh, trying to manipulate it and change her own grip on the gun, the way she's holding it. Uh, and then ultimately she shoots herself in the right side of the head. So Amanda uh, ultimately shot herself in the head, is that correct? Correct. And what happened after that? Uh, after that, we have uh, numerous other officers arrive on the scene. Uh, they go into the store and they assist in containing the suspects in the far northwest corner of the store. Uh, and they also assist with evacuating uh, numerous citizens who were sheltered in place. And ultimately, uh, a SWAT crisis entry team makes entry and takes both Amanda and Jared into custody in that far northwest corner, uh, ending the incident. And how long was this um, entire incident, roughly? The incident in Walmart lasted approximately 24 minutes.